Thanksgiving. Let's dip in quickly now to listen to the president's attorney, Jay Seklow. That uh, this idea of the solicitation of foreign interference uh, is deplorable. I wonder if he thought that about the fact that the Clinton campaign had sought, when it's, it's completely cooperated, it's uncontested, the Steele dossier, who was utilizing both supposedly assets that a former uh, British spy had in Russia to get information on the president, then candidate. Was that not foreign interference? Was that not an attempt for foreign interference? So you can get on your horse and act uh, haughty and proud about it, but it, it, you know what? The, let's look at what the evidence says. And here's what the evidence says. There was foreign involvement, but let's not forget where it originated from. Let's not forget, and we haven't even begun to put on our case yet. We, haven't, we still will not begin until actually tomorrow morning. But I want you to think about this. Where did that foreign intelligence come from, foreign, uh, foreign uh, information come from? It came from connections from the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the number three, whose wife happened to work for Fusion GPS, who happened to be hired by the DNC to happen to do an investigation on Donald Trump. And by the way, she didn't just do it with uh, the Steele dossier. She was also involved with it was, guess what? Ukraine. So let's, let's, you know, we haven't put our case out, obviously, haven't begun to. But we, you, you, you should be able to get a sense from what I'm saying right now that this is going to, you're going to hear it, we're going to rebut and refute, and we're going to put on an affirmative case tomorrow. But that's just one, just one issue. And for the life of me, and they've done it, and uh, why they opened up the door as wide as a double door on the Hunter Biden, Joe Biden, Burisma issue, I guess they figured that was their way of getting ahead of it. We will address it. Because I want to, let me say one last thing, and then I'll ask, answer your questions. I always don't, certainly want to answer your questions. But I want you to think about this for a moment. Joe Biden was charged as vice president of the United States with the Ukraine policy. That was a specific charge. His son went to work for, a Ukra went on the board of a Ukrainian gas company. First, the vice president said he knew nothing about it. But the State Department knew about it because they were concerned when people were being put up for confirmation that that issue might arise. So believe me, you'll hear about that issue too. Let me take a few more questions. I know you said- Your response to today is about obstruction of Congress. Your response to the Democrats' obstruction of Congress charge. Well. I thought this has been abuse of powers, what they've been talking about. Today is about, they will be doing obstruction. Um, I've got a very easy response to obstruction of Congress. This, this idea that you obstruct Congress by exercising, I've said this before, exercising pri uh, constitutional privileges is absurd. Absolutely absurd. I think what you know, what uh, Jonathan Turley said was right, but I forget what he said. Now that's, that's fine. But what the courts have said, these are fundamentally important rights to the way our separation of power works under our form of government. Next question. Mr. Sekulow, by bringing up the Steele dossier, are you suggesting that another president was involved? When, it, when another president was yeah. involved? Yeah. You're not, right? So how is the Steele dossier? No, 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 no. The Steele dossier was, no, how did the Steele dossier? Well, no, the question is, the, there was all this discussion about how, why was the president so suspicious of some of his uh, intelligence uh, information, and some of the leaders he was dealing with within his own government? Well, the number three at the Department of Justice wife was working for a firm that was working on a dossier against the sitting president of the United States. So don't put words in my mouth. Let me be crystal clear. Yeah, we're concerned about it. That was the number three at the FBI, who for the life of me, I can't figure out, he's still there uh, in some capacity. But think about that, who was also, she was also, as I said, working on Ukraine. Next question. Will you be using both Monday and Tuesday to present your defense next week? Well, I mean, we, uh, uh, but, oh, as far as how long we'll go, uh, I can't make that determination yet. Look, here's what happened. The, the Senate asked for an accommodation. We were prepared to go as long as they wanted us to go tomorrow. Uh, they asked, I think it was 10 to 1 was the final decision. We'll present from 10 to 1-ish. So and then the Senate's decision. Yeah, we're ready to go, but we have to, it's the Senate's decision. We respect the Senate's process. I think members they had... give you 24 hours, though. So you said, they said, we don't want you to use all 24 hours? No. They said, can you proceed for three hours tomorrow and then... Take the other time you need to present your case. Was we will make the. By the president saying that he no. With TV radio no, we're now? still we're, we're going to be, we'll be live on ten o'clock tomorrow. I suspect. But so, so well, I mean, trust me, there'll be plenty to cover. Mr. Sokolow, yes. Okay. Um, 
Are you, is the defense team at all concerned about ABC's reporting this morning of a recording reportedly showing that Trump said, take her out about a uh, Ukrainian ambassador? Was know, that the con was this the one where they said it was, there was a conversation that involved that, that, that yeah, yeah, uh, no, I'm not concerned about that at all. Jay, you, you have been a paid legal advisor to President, right? You're a paid advisor. Are you uh, being paid for impeachment work? Impeachment work, and uh, other uh, lawyers also getting paid. Uh, yeah, lawyers are. Ret yeah, I'm ret uh, I wouldn't say paid advisor. I'm the I'm a, the president's retained counsel. And you're yeah. So I don't discuss my legal fees, but we're paid for our legal, legal services. Legal. I'm not. I'm not. Getting, you know, I'm not getting into that. Let's go ahead. Grab the senator as well. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Can you talk about on, on tomorrow what we're going to see? We're not going to see Ken Starr or anybody like that. Tomorrow? Right. I, no, I think what you, I think you'll see a. Um, uh, I guess I would call it a, um, a trailer, coming, coming attractions, <laughs> that'd be the best way to say it. Well, obviously, we have three hours to put it out, um, so we'll, we'll take whatever time's appropriate during that three hours, kind of lay out what the case will look like. But uh, no, next week is when you'll see the full presentation. But there'll, there'll be plenty to see. Senator Warren.